Fact theorem, further maths GCSE, which is a level two qualification. Okay, the first question, part of this question, we got to use the fact theorem to show that these are factors of this. Now the fact theorem says that if something is a factor, then um, if we substitute that number into the equation, we get zero. So to show that x minus one is a factor, if x minus one is a factor, then when we put x equals 1, then um, when x equals 1, x cubed minus 21x plus 20 equals 0. So to show that, we need to do 1 cubed minus 21 times 1 plus 20 equals 0. So, well, we've got to show that, so let's just... Um, to show that, let's just tidy it up first. So that's equal to 1 minus 21 plus 20, which equals 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, I'm not going to write all that right like that again. So if for, for x minus 4, well, x equals 4, 4 cubed minus 21 times 4 plus 20 we need 4 cubed, which is 64, minus 21 times 4, which is 84, plus 20, which equals 0. Therefore, x minus 4 is a factor. OK, so for the factor theorem, we just need to show that whatever value makes this bracket 0, that number, when put into the equation, gives us 0. So similarly for this, we've got to show this. These are factors for this. So when x equals 1, uh, we have 1 cubed minus 10 times 1 squared plus 29 times 1 minus 20. So that's 1 minus 10 plus 29 minus 20, which equals 0. And when x equals 4, we have 4 cubed minus 10 times 4 squared minus 29 times 4 minus 20 so we get 64 minus um, 10 times 4 squared which is 160 um, 4 lots of 29 well, 4 lots of 30 is 120 take away 4 is 116 minus 20 and um, that doesn't equal 0 does it? that should be plus 29 that's why let's get it right so um, 64 plus this, always check to make sure it actually gives you what you think it does. So that's 180, take away 160, take away 20 equals 0. So now we've got to, using that information, simplify this fully. So we know that um, these are both factors of um, this top part of the, the, the fraction. And these are both factors of the bottom part of this fraction. And they're going to cancel. So all we need to do really is to figure out what the third factor is, what makes the uh, the rest of it. So if we've got x minus 1 and x minus 4 and multiply that out, we get x squared minus x minus 4x, which is minus 5x, plus 4. So what must the, the other factor be? Well, it must be... Um, uh, x plus 5, I think. Let's just check that because the 5 times the 4 makes 20. Uh, get x cubed, we get minus 5x squared plus 5x squared, so the x squareds cancel. We get plus 4x minus 25x, which is minus 21x, and that's right. So that's going to be the top. So we've got um, x minus 1, x minus 4 x plus 5 on the top. On the bottom, if we've got the same thing again, what do we multiply this by to get this, because it's the same factors? Um, well, it should be minus 5, so it should be x minus 5. Let's have a look at that. So if I have x minus 5 times by this, I get the x cubed again. Minus 5x times x is minus 5x squared minus 5 times x squared it gives another minus 5x squared gives the minus 10x squared and then we've got x times 4 and minus 25x um, 
so minus 5x times minus 5 is 25x plus the 4x gives us plus 29x and we get the minus 20 so that's that works as well so we've got x plus x minus 1 x minus 4 x minus 5 so these cancel to leave us with x plus 5 over x minus 5 don't be tempted to go any further with that because that's as far as it can go okay so lots of uh, marks there to do with factors and factor theorem.